Hey guys and welcome back to a new episode. If you're new around here, I'm Sophie and the better half of the Wilson's Take on Oz. We are here today to show you our big awaited rig way in. Mr. Cameraman Aaron is behind there. <laughs> He's being weird. We are heading to Goulburn today. We're currently in Nelligan in New South Wales. So it is about, I don't know, a two hour drive, but with the van on, we'll see how we go. If you've seen last week's vlog, you would have seen that we actually have to climb the Clyde Mountain. And if you are familiar with this area, you will know that is a big hill. So we'll see how we go today. We'll take you guys along. We've got some legends weighing us today. So we'll get, we guys will get to meet them and let's go. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground We made it over the Clyde. We're here with the right way and Lex. We're getting the, the rig all weighed up. So why is it so important to get weighed, Lex? Um, to make sure you're within your compliance. Um, yep. If you're overweight, you're unsafe. Yeah, that's so, it, yeah. yeah if you, 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 your car and your van has compliances yep. and you need to be within those compliances okay. yeah. um, to make sure you're legal yep. and for safety. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So if you're overweight, do you have insurance? No, um, no, it becomes an unsafe vehicle if you're overweight, yeah, okay. and yeah. the insurance will be null and void. Yeah, there you go. So, so yeah. there's no point paying for insurance if you're overweight because it's voided. Yeah, and you've got such an expensive rig yeah. that uh, yeah, you wouldn't want to risk. Yeah, that's that. it. Yeah, exactly right. All right, Lex, do you think we're going to be overweight with this setup? It, Isuzu D Max with GVM GCM. GCM upgrade, do you think we're going to be over? I think you'll be close, yes. Okay, yes, there you go. Be, you'll be very close to being overweight. Can the D Max make it under weight? Come on. <laughs> Yep. So, uh, so, uh, a bit. Yeah. 
So now have a look at your axles. Yeah, 82 and 85. So that's... Yeah. Yeah, but then that puts more weight. Correct. Yeah. Correct. You might hear a running stream and that's because we're emptying our water tanks to drive home. Why do you think we're doing that? Doing what? Emptying our water tanks to drive home. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> a happy campers, that's for sure. We know where we sit now. Mm. Being professionally weighed. Weighed? Yeah. Weighed. By the right way, people. The right way. The not, right way. Not right way, the right way. The right way. Mm -hmm. They were great, so definitely recommend them. Hit them up. Hit them up. They're traveling around, so they're going up north for a little while. Yep. Um, unreal people, really, really great, knowledgeable. Yeah. They know all about the ATMs, the BTMs, the CTMs, the TTMs. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> Won't say numbers now. We'll get home. We'll talk about the numbers. Yeah, we'll, we'll work, do it all out. Yeah. Work it all out for you guys. Um, long story short, we're overweight. Yep. Obviously. <laughs> Look at this rig. It's Look, awesome. Look, we got a D Max that can yeah. tow three and a half ton. Yes, yeah. we got the GVM GCM upgrade, yeah. but it's a 22 foot caravan that weighs mm -hmm. 2.9 ton. Empty. Empty, yeah. not loaded. Yeah. Then you put 200 kilos of water. Yeah. Chuck it, a full canopy full of everything. Yeah. You're over. Yeah. So we thought we'd be a little bit close. We didn't think we'd be as over as we are. So wait to see those numbers. We will yeah. share them. Um, okay. What do you reckon we yeah. are? How far over? Comment below. Quickly. Yeah, comment below. Pause the video. Comment below. Say what you think. Wait, how many kilos over are we? Are we a ton over? Are we 50 <laughs> kilos over? Should we even what be is pulling it? it? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll share all those details with you guys when we get home. We just wanted to do a little quick update to say those guys are legends. Yeah. We appreciate them weighing us. That was just such a great learning experience for us. Yeah. Um, and also we're over. So yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. The D Max can't. The D Max can't. <laughs> <laughs>
It's going to give us another ton. Two ton. Well, or oh, a ton in JVM and a ton, ton in JCM. Yeah. Um. So we were looking at that option. We were looking at so many things in yeah. the entire two weeks. We didn't want to come on here and tell you anything until we kind of thought we knew what we were doing. Yeah. So we've come to the conclusion, like Aaron said, let's strip the weight. Um, we don't need everything that we had no. in there. And I did the can. So the main issue is the cup. We'll tell you our weights later on. Yeah. Like in we'll tell detail. You in detail, yeah. But the canopy is made out of 12 mil plywood, so it's thick. It's the floor. The floor, yeah. You said the canopy. Oh, sorry. The canopy fit out is 12 mil plywood, marine ply, so it's heavy. Then it's got carpet and it's got timber supports underneath to hold the plywood up. So that's a lot of weight. So if we can get rid of most of that and maybe do an aluminium floor or, yeah, whatever, do little blocks to raise mm. where the fridge slide is, then we're good. Yeah. So we think. We think at this stage that's kind of where we're at. Um, yeah. Take out the plywood, put in aluminium. Yeah. Um, we spent a lot of time and money on what we have, but... It's not right. It's not right. So we're going to get rid of it. And we mainly did that for when we used the tent. Mm. So when we didn't have a caravan, we're mm. doing weekend trips in the tent. So that was what that fit out was. We even got rid of the King's awning. Yeah. So that was a big one for us. Yep. Um, we got rid of the King's 270 degree awning, which we absolutely loved on yep. that trip. But we haven't used it since. No. So... Since the caravan. You don't need it. Mm. You might use it on a, you go out exploring for a day, mm. set up for lunch or whatever, mm -hmm. but you don't need it. It's just extra weight, more fuel, and obviously How much up. did that weigh? I think it was 27 point something kilos. Yeah, so pretty so, heavy. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Right, got rid of it. So yeah, our main problem is the car. Yep. Um, the van is only slightly over. Yep. Um, with full water tanks, with full gas bottle, yeah. with a jerry can. That's like, right, yeah. Yeah, so... The diesel heater jerry can was mm -hmm. full as well. Yeah. So, yep. the car, the canopy, it's a heavy setup. It's been a big couple of weeks, to be honest with you guys. Like, we were kind of at a point of defeat. So many people out there with huge fans, with families, with dogs and families yeah. that are towing and when we're thinking how are they doing it Yeah, with with a, a ute as well, like they've yeah. got a ute and a 22 foot van, three kids and a dog. We're like how are they doing how, it? Yeah, like we got all the upgrades mm. done Yeah, and we're still, we were over by a lot. Mm. So we'll tell you now, like the car um unhitched we're fine why yes when the car is not connected to the van when we're not towing yep. we're just you know just safe, the car just the car um chuck a tent in the back you know that situation there's 230 kilos left to play with yeah so that's not much you go put a rooftop tent on mm. and all that fill the fridge with fill beer. The, yeah with beer wine everything mm. You're probably over. Yeah. Like you think about it that way. Two hundred and thirty kilos mm. isn't much. Yeah. So when we're unhitched, we there's not much left. When we are hitched, um, we're <coughs> we are over, but there's no straight we're over. Like it's actually. It's not just like, oh, the car's this many kilos over. No. Or the, it's it's the rear axle, the front axle, yep. the GV, GVM. Um, so with our upgrades, our mm. GVM is allowable up to 3,600 kilos. Um, hitched, mm. we're sitting at 3,676. So uh, we're 76 kilos uh, over GVM. Uh, so with our rear axle, that's kind of where we are worse <coughs> off. Yep. Um, being a cab, like a ute, dual cab ute, is that like a factor? I think it's just our rear axle, it's not like a wagon rear axle. Mm. I, I don't not, know. They're not rated as they're high. They're not rated as high. Yeah. So. so even with the upgrade, we can't go as high as a 200 or a 300 series yeah. could go with the upgrade. 
<laughs> so our rear axle is a whopping 252 kilos overweight. Yep. So our rear axle is allowed to be 2150 and we're currently weighing in at 2402. There you go. So that is probably our main concern. This yep. leads to things like snap chassis. Yeah. If we don't want a snap chassis. No, definitely not. Even with the reinforcement. <laughs> Get her running down the hill. <laughs> Get the stick. Get it. Yeah. So even yeah, with 252 the... kilos over the rear axle. Mm -hmm. They said that's our main issue. Mm. Really? You agree? If we get rid of you, that'll be 42 kilos. Anyways, that is the main concern for us. Um, so we'll give you a quick like overview of the main ones everyone asks. Yep. So GVM, GCM, yep. hitched, unhitched, <laughs> yeah. um, and ATM. GVM hitch, we told you guys we're sitting, we should be 36, we're sitting at 3676. Um, GVM unhitched, where we can go up to three six we're sitting at three three seven oh so that was the first one we talked yep. about um our g v our gcm can be 6900 yep so this is a big one um because we're sitting at 7014 so 114 14 kilos mm. in gcm yeah so max gcm is <laughs> ginger combination of the car and the van's yeah. weight yep. um, fully loaded rated to what the max it can be yep that's yeah we're over there um, so that's probably the main ones people have been asking the other one people have been asking is our ATM so that's the trailer mass so aggregate trailer mass is it? yeah yep. so the weight of the caravan fully loaded when unhitched to the tow vehicle so we can be 3500. Yep. So 3500. Um, we are currently 3623. Okay. So 123 kilos overweight. Over. So the van loaded sitting there 123 kilos. 23 kilos over. Mm. But when it's hitched up, it's only 76 six kilos over. Mm. So, that brings us to our tow bore mass. That's another one everyone's been asking Everyone's us. been asking about that. So the weight, so if you don't know, tow bore weight is the load exerted on the tow bore of the tow vehicle. It generally sits around 10% of the ATM. Yep. So ours can be 350, we're 285. Yep. So we are perfect. Like. Yeah, we're yeah. You wouldn't want to go lighter than that, though. No. What we're, are we? Seven percent or where, something. Where? Yeah. Does it say? Oh, somewhere in here. I think it's seven seven point something percent. So, long story short, um, those are our figures. We're over pretty much everywhere. It's yeah. not just besides oh, the table. <laughs> besides the table, yeah. So I've yeah. Right, now I've got the figures, I know what I need to strip or how much I need to strip off where. And then once we're ready, we can probably go get weighed again just mm -hmm. to check, okay, yep, my maths has been right. Mm, however, in saying that, um, when we did go and get weighed, um, we were talking to Lex and he was saying just get bathroom scales and yep, check and it all as check you're it pulling all. it out. Yeah, yeah, which I've been doing. Yeah, so you guys will be informed as we go, but yep. just so you know, as we're going away, as we're going away this weekend, we have pulled stuff out, so we're not going around. Yeah, driving overweight. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, I've pulled stuff that we normally would take out, mm. so once I can measure it properly and work out, okay, I definitely want that gone. Mm. We, we'll just pull out like whatever we need to be underweight. Yeah. So, so we've been told me uh, like no water. Mm. So that's I've got a forty litre uh, water in the car, so that's gone. I've got the two hundred litres in the van, that's empty when I tow. And the grey water tank's empty. And the grey water, so 
And you're not always going to have a full tank of fuel. Like that's something to keep in mind. Our fuel tank's 145 litres in the car. We've got two jerry cans as well. Yep. Plus the diesel heater jerry can. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So there's 20 kilos, 40 kilos, 50 kilos of diesel just in jerry cans as yeah. well. So. Ready? Ready? Go. Get, get it, it. Get it. Get quick. the stick. Stripped some of the floor out. I've taken the pantry out of the canopy. It's basically I've, like a It's shell. pretty much a shell. <laughs> With a fridge. With a fridge yeah. and a battery. Yeah. Basically got nothing in there now. Yep. Um, so hit us up if you need some <laughs> plywood wrapped in carpet. Because <laughs> that was a waste of money. But yep. anyway. Anyway. Can't go back. No, we can't. So. Just <laughs> forwards and upwards now. So yep. let us know if you have any suggestions <laughs> on how to not be overweight. Overweight. <laughs> Oh, hello. And what to do with the psycho hello. dog. Yeah. Because we're four years in and still trying to figure that out. Yeah. No, nah, she needs to go. She needs to go to the bathroom. Don't you? I hope we've answered all your guys' questions. We've tried to be as clear and concise as possible. Yep. Um, yeah. I don't know what else we've missed, but she no. needs us to stop talking. If you have like any suggestions, please comment below. <laughs> really, yeah, Ginger. please comment below. So, yeah, all the help will be good. Yeah, we love chatting to you guys in the comments, and especially when you guys have got so many tips for us. Yeah. Like we say all the time, we're, we're yeah, you go. <laughs> we're just amateurs, and we're just giving it a crack and seeing how we go. I mean, every day is a learning opportunity, and. Some of you guys have been traveling around the country for many, many years. So yeah, appreciate all the help we can get. Anyways, guys, as it's obviously witching hour, we need to get going. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Make sure you tune in because we are showing you this place and it is stunning. really, really cool. Yeah, it's stunning. So make sure you tune in. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because we want to see you guys around. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.